One day after a terrible plane crash in Hood River, there are a lot of heavy hearts at the city's annual fly-in. Ben Davidson and Matthew Titus were both killed in that crash yesterday. Davidson was very well known in the Hood River community. He was the chief pilot at the Western Antique Aeroplane and Automobile Museum where the fly-in is being held. Fox 12's Zach Anders reports. A tight-knit community of aviators lost two of their own. It's just tragic. I mean, it's sad. It's a somber weekend for all of us. It's hard to accept what happened yesterday. Punctuates the fact that flying is very unforgiving and dangerous. We don't yet know what caused the small Piper Cub to crash within seconds of taking off on Friday. He was a very experienced aviator, and I don't think we'll ever know what happened or why it happened. Ben was the chief pilot for the museum, so he knew all these planes. The tragedy hitting the day before one of the region's largest fly-ins. Hundreds of antique working airplanes and pilots from all over gathering to meet, share experiences, and inspire the next generation. It's a scale that I just simply didn't imagine. This is amazing for such a small little town to have this um, this venue and these airplanes. So organizers questioned if they should go through with the annual event, knowing thousands would attend. Yeah, we block it out. It's on the calendar and yeah. Yeah, I, I, I wondered about what the vibe would be here. That question didn't hang around for long. I think there's no question this is what he would have wanted. He would have been very disappointed if the event were canceled this weekend. I mean, Ben was an avid supporter. He was the chief pilot here at WAM. This was his dream. The decision yesterday was to continue with the event and that that's what Ben Davidson would have wanted. Those that knew them tell us they love to fly and they love to preserve aviation history. Today, Addison Pemberton, who volunteers at the museum, flew the oldest Boeing airplane still able to take to the sky, giving kids free rides, doing what he says the museum was built for, what those pilots worked to preserve. Just before noon, a group of pilots climbed into their aircraft. If anything happens to all of us, none of us want aviation to stop. And took to the skies. Flying is still just an amazing experience. It's hard to put into words. Hundreds watched from below as the planes gathered in formation under the shadow of Mount Hood. Then, as they approached the same airfield where tragedy struck just 24 hours ago, a display of ultimate respect. Aircraft number three pulled back at the controls, the missing man formation. All for two aviators lost doing what they love at a special place for aviators. Zach Anders, Fox 12 Oregon.